To see yourself and for others to see you is a form of validation. And I'm interested in sort of that very mysterious and mystical line that is how we relate to each other in the world. I am McLean Thomas and you're in my studio in Brooklyn, Fort Greene, Clinton Hill. This is where all of the magic really happens. And it's a little chaotic now, but if you come back in a couple of weeks, this section will be completely um, wall paneled, painted, linoleum, you know, couch, all set up like an interior space um, for a photo shoot I'm going to do. The show at Brooklyn Museum will consist of the works from Santa Monica um, Museum, uh, The Origin of the Universe. The additional works will consist of what you see here, more figurative uh, images of women in the space. I was interested in Corbet, mainly um, the origin of the world as a sort of conceptual um, idea and component related to the body, related to the female body, and using that sort of as a central sort of um, focus for the show. I wanted to sort of reclaim that position by using my own body as uh, the sort of subject, but also as the artist, and sort of to expand my own idea of my universe, and sort of this gift of what I'm giving to the world. Well, I felt a little exposed, because I'm, uh, you know, um, revealing um, a part of my, my body that, you know, one will never <laughs> see unless you get very close to me. But um, for me, that, sort of putting myself in that position and vulnerable position as an artist allowed me to understand uh, the positions that I put my own, my own models and sitters in. I think paintings are sort of like um, conceptually like mirrors. The gaze itself is a mirror, you know, and it's, it's sort of like in order for that person to have the gaze, they have to have someone that's responding to it. The person that has that sort of authority of the gaze is always the sitter. I think the sitter is the most powerful person who sort of resides in sort of that space of how they're going to deliver the gaze. And for me, it's very important. These are all my paint carts. Uh, <laughs> I love this new paint system. Um, they all have numbers based on paintings. Naomi, that is Naomi Campbell. I actually did photograph her and I'm doing portraits of her. So this is Naomi Colors. <laughs> and this is my library of rhinestones. Here you have all of the acrylic rhinestones. Here you have Swarovski and Czech glass rhinestones. This is my private studio, um, storage, showroom, bathroom. I, I, I found that door <laughs> in Fort Greene because uh, I do all, all of my own photography of my models and I, so I wanted something that sort of, you know, expressed their changing room and I wanted to do something nice for them. This is my area where I make mostly all my collages. Um, I finally have a private space where I can sort of shut the door and uh, do all my own things, run around naked if I want, <laughs> put in my own music um, and sort of uh, lock myself in and sort of make some new work. And I'm gonna be working on smaller paintings too. I have them hidden here. So we're these are all studies for bigger paintings. So I've been, see, I've, I've been doing some other things that 
no one really knows about. So you get to see, this is how I actually decide on the wood paneling for areas like the wood grain on here. What my work is about is sort of presenting um, beauty and the black body of sort of reclaiming these spaces and saying that once you put them out there, you'll see me, so therefore I exist. <laughs>